Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. You know, Errol Spence Jr. tonight was exposed when it comes to his power. You know, I've heard over the last, you know, many, many months that Errol Spence Jr. is an elite level power puncher. He's an elite level fighter. You know, he's he's the type of guy that can you do all these things. But it's easy to look this good against a guy moving up two divisions in weight. You know, we believe that Mikey Garcia had the skill set to outmaneuver and outbox Errol Spence Jr. He was unable to do that tonight. But what we did learn is a lot about Errol Spence Jr. And we learned that Errol Spence Jr. is not the puncher that people thought he was. You know, and this is something that I've called from the very beginning yes mikey garcia did state that errol spence jr has power but his power is not elite level where people thought it was you know when you look at it like this errol spence jr was unable to even drop mikey garcia in this fight he was unable to drop mikey garcia in this fight understand that this is a fight where people said mikey garcia would never be the same this is a fight where people said that mikey garcia would have a huge amount of problems dealing with errol spence jr's power when it in reality, the boxing and size and distance and range all came into play for Mikey Garcia. The power was not the ultimate deciding factor in this fight. It was a factor, but it was not the deciding factor. And what we needed was Mikey Garcia was to overcome the, the reach advantage, the you know, the height advantage, these advantages with simple boxing skills and ability. And we had to say that Mikey Garcia just didn't have those abilities. He's not that type of fighter. So when you look at a more competitive fight for Errol Spence Jr., it would have to be a more natural 147 pounder, such as a Terrence Bud Crawford. So when you look at a fight like this, you see that Errol Spence Jr. has finally went the distance with a fighter that's two weight classes below him. There's no excuse to rate Errol Spence Jr. as the most vicious you know, power puncher there is. And this is something that we've always called from Day one that Errol Spence Jr.'s punching power was overrated. The reason why he stopped Kell Brook in the 11th round wasn't because he was an elite level puncher. He didn't even stop him to the body. Kell Brook stopped the fight on his own because he was a broken fighter because he couldn't see out of his eye socket. Let's be honest and unbiased. You know, if you look at Lamont Peterson, Lamont Peterson threw in the town. He could have went the distance with Errol Spence Jr. But the problem is that these are lower tier fighters and Mikey Garcia is a much smaller fighter. So, you know, I believe Mikey had the skills. He just does not have the skills to beat Errol Spence Jr. Mikey Garcia gets all the respect in the world for coming up in weight, daring to be great, daring to do something. But unfortunately, he was unable to do it with the skill set. But that's a skill set that more natural, bigger men have at 147 pounds. So when you look at a Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence Jr. fight and you kind of size that fight up, you see that Terrence Crawford not only has the skill set to box with Errol Spence Jr., but you also see that Terrence Bud Crawford, you know, you don't you don't fear or worry that he would ever get stopped in the fight after seeing Errol Spence Jr. in inability to be able to stop Mikey Garcia an inability to stop Mikey Garcia let's just understand that because the fact that he couldn't even drop Mikey Garcia when he threw the kitchen sink at Mikey Garcia that shows you that Errol Spence Jr. is not the puncher that many people think he is now when you look at it like this when you look at you know Errol Spence Jr.'s next fight potentially being against a Manny Pacquiao. That's an intriguing fight because Manny Pacquiao has power. So he's gonna you're gonna expect that Manny Pacquiao has more pop than Mikey Garcia at 147 pounds. You're gonna expect that Manny Pacquiao has more experience dealing with you know bigger, stronger men because he's proven that he can do that against the De La Hoyas of the world, against other fighters. And Errol Spence Jr. proved to be a much better boxer than we've ever given him credit at the IBFP. So I have to give Errol Spence Jr. his credit on that that Errol Spence Jr. is a very good boxer at this point. I still will not rate him as an elite level boxer, but he's a very good boxer because Errol Spence Jr. was still backed up in this fight and he was still fighting a much smaller opponent who you can't expect to be extremely effective against a much bigger guy. And so that's why we always call this a 50-50 fight. We believe that Mikey Garcia's skills would translate to the weight class of 147 pounds. They just didn't, but it was a great fight overall. But we see that Errol Spence Jr. was exposed as far as his power go because he's not the same fighter that many people thought he was. He's no longer the boogeyman that people thought he was. The real boogeyman at 147 pounds is Terrence Bud Crawford. We see now why Errol Spence Jr. always called himself strap season, but in his fight against Mikey Garcia, 
there was no belt to be won in his next potential fight against Manny Pacquiao. There's no belt to be won. So that means he's avoiding the biggest and best fight out there, which is a Terrence Bud Crawford at 147 pounds, a guy who's over would overmatch him with boxing ability. But Errol Spence Jr. would still have a size and reach advantage. But we we believe that Terrence Bud Crawford has the skill set to beat an Errol Spence Jr. because he's more natural at the weight of 147 pounds. Terrence Bud Crawford is a switch hitter. And this is something that we've called from day one. So this will be a very intriguing matchup. We understand that Errol Spence Jr. is not the monster that many people thought he was. His power is not at the level we thought it was. And the reason why Errol Spence Jr. looked so good in all those fights was because he was fighting smaller, weaker opponents and tomato cans. So at this point, you're going to see a lot of fanboys and groupies come out and, you know, crowd around Errol Spence Jr. But let's be honest and unbiased. Errol Spence Jr. has proven nothing by beating Mikey Garcia. There was nothing to be gained from this win from him because once again, Errol Spence Jr. was exposed as not being the puncher and has been the power that everyone said he had. Once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.